Hey guys, it's me, Vix123. Welcome back to Planet Zoo, episode 2. So many rhymes. So many rhymes off the bat. We're back. You guys have shown some mad support on this series. And that, that, that to me is good. Because that means, yeah, you're having fun. I'm having fun. Everyone's having fun. We're back. We're back in, 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 in Victopia. My zoo that has just one humble little enclosure. I added another window around here. Um, I actually want to make this, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this like a raised viewing platform. Hopefully. Hopefully, I, you know, I'll do that later actually. Let's just leave it as glass for now. Because today we want to do our second exhibit. The other thing I need to do is something that you guys picked up on. And it is the reason that my, um, I think that my animals aren't getting fed. That is because on my staff, on my aardvark work zone, which I need to try and edit, I guess, somehow. Um, yeah, because I guess create work zone. See, I need to get that. I need to get both of those in it, just so we can go in either of them. I need that, and I need... Does it tell me... Yeah, that's... Wait. It's got the animal trade center. He needs the, the keeper's hut as well, so he can take the food through. So let me do, let me create that as a work zone. We're, we're right into this. How do I add? Oh, wait. Okay, wait, I've added that now. Okay, so we are now going to go on the staff. And we are going to take our ah, work zone two. So I'm going to delete that one. Delete that one. We're going to name that Aardvark. There we go. And then we are going to assign our keeper, which is Elvia, to Aardvark land. Perfection in the making. So there we go. That is a little, a little move. Another thing I've done is I've got some blueprints for some cooler custom buildings. Some, of, some things I can build, some things I can't build. Damn it. Um, so I got a new design. So yeah, glass house, toilet, I can't get yet. Um, what other things did I get? Okay, a lot of these things I can't actually, can't actually build yet because I haven't unlocked the stuff for them. But I got some decor, here we go. A flower bed. How good does that look? I'm going to put one of those either side just to fill this space. And also add some scenery. There we go. It's, it's a big investment, but I'm doing it for the, for the visitors, for the people. So, yeah, if I just place that in, like, there-ish. We're going to have the double path extend out there that's going to make it all okay on the other side. Let's see. Is that scenery reaching these? Is the scenery... There we go. These are up to 79%. They were on 50% before. So we need yet more scenery. I wonder if there's any other good blueprints we can get. Blueprints are things that people have already made and up uploaded to the... Uh, can you have, oh, welcome sign. Oh, that's a massive welcome sign. I was expecting something a little smaller. Okay. Um, and this just saves me being really fiddly, kind of working out how to, like, place all the individual things to make something like this. Elephant fountain, we haven't unlocked. See, a lot of this stuff I can't place because I haven't unlocked stuff. See, that's not, that, it says it's a simple welcome sign, but it's quite big. We can get a planted wall. You know what? If I rotate this round, I can actually, yeah, glue it to the side of there to just give a jungle feel. And again, it adds a load of scenery, which is good. Where's my, where's, where's that? There we go. Rotate this. Whack it on the side. There we go. That's that's a little more fancy. Have I got any... I could have sworn I got like a really simple custom toilet design, but... And I wonder if I can... No, wait. That, that, that won't... I, I can't put a shop front on a toilet. Somehow that wouldn't work. I wonder if there's anything that... Oh, there we go. This is this is a better better designed information house. I think that might be the generic one, but either way, we get rid of this. Go on the blueprints. Get. I think I don't think I don't think that's like a super custom thing. 
Let's get rid of that floating info sign. Let's into group edit mode. Let's just get rid of that. That was attached to the toilet somehow. Don't ask me how. Blueprint. So we're just we're just neatening things up a little bit here. There we go. It's the default design, but actually, if I align it correctly, this middle thing could end up looking quite cool. We're gonna have to get rid of that. And no, 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 no. Okay. Here's what we're gonna. Oh, here's what we're gonna. Here's what we're gonna try and do. Okay. This is. This this. Could definitely go wrong. We're going to try something a little out there here. Then none of these are like a shell, are they? We want to get some fancy looking toilets. So here's what we're going to do. This is either going to work or it's not going to work. We're going to place this in. Like here. Then we are going to edit this building. We're going to take off the info sign. We're going to take out the actual information center itself. Gonna take off this. We're just gonna leave that open. And now we're gonna put toilets inside here. This is either gonna work or not gonna work, as most things in the world do or don't. Oh yes. Oh. Oh, it's a bit of a banger. And now do you know what else we can do? I mean if I check, these have probably got they've got hundred percent goodness. I was gonna suggest, you know, we got it, we got it, we got to continue the uh, the jungle walls across. How much? How much do these cost? Five. You know, it's it's five hundred, which is you know, we don't have a crazy amount of money, but doesn't that look lovely? Doesn't isn't isn't it starting to look like I know what I'm doing in Planet Zoo right now? Say it ain't so. There we go. Can that still be used there? Hopefully. Look at that! Isn't that look? Isn't that looking much nicer there? than it was before. Oh! People around here, okay, we do need donation buckets over here. Okay. Where are you? I need actual bins as well, you guys are right. You guys are usually right. I'm gonna put, we'll leave that there for now because I do want to do it in an up top viewing point. Also, you did tell me that these are pointless and you know what, I agree because these dudes can't climb. So what's the point of having a climbing area? You're dead right. How, how are you? Are you happy? You know what? You're pretty damn happy. Nutrition's good, but it should be better um, now that we've got the right members of staff. So we've got, we got a mechanic in the end, didn't we? We've got a mechanic. Security. I'm just going to, I'm going to leave security. I should probably have a vet. I should, I have, do I have a vet? Why am I being dumb? Do I have a vet? I do have a vet. She's 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 researching things. This looks ugly, but it's fine. View research center. What are we what are we researching? Okay, there we go. We've got some more stuff for Ardvark. Compiler compiler bacteriosis. I had that when I was little. It was horrible. I was in hospital for like a week throwing up. I got it from eating an uncooked chicken sandwich. Okay, so what? Why would I want to reset his diseases? I don't, don't quite understand that. All right, so there we go. So this is, ah, oh, the you know the entrance to my park actually looks looks nice now, and I'm happy. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is slightly tedious. I apologise. We need to build our next enclosure. So, paths away we go. So herringbone path width four, aligned to grid with the square edges. There we go. So let's, let's, let's keep it all symmetrical out here. Again, sorry that this is slightly fiddly. Oh wait, no, actually it goes down there. Yep. The tools are still quite good for this. Do we want that? No, that tree has to go, unfortunately. Sorry, tree. You are a nice tree. I think those trees are fine. Okay, let's get back on the path life. Line to grid, here we go. So how far did we end up going? It was like one, one, two, three, four, five. I like that, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, okay, one more. And we run this all the way up here. 
I know like very, very boringly rectangular exhibits, but it's just this is just the basis. I'll maybe I'll maybe make an effort to kind of get more creative with the shaping when we move on from here. I guess my main idea, I need to neaten up those as well. Again, that's something I'll probably do when I get a chance. Um, Alright, one sec. Uh, I'm gonna quickly close my door. You guys can't hear that fan in the back. Um, we've got to do the fence walls again, which is a bit of a nightmare. A bit of a nightmare. I'm trying to think if there's anything we need to consider before that. No, I think that's the next bit. This is going to be a little tedious, but we're good. Yeah, yeah we, we, it's, it's not something we haven't done before. Okay, so the way I did it last time was I should choose. You know what I should do, actually? I should choose link points. So I want it to be glass to there. This is, this is the smart way of doing it. So now that we know this. We'll continue to do this kind of a thing. And we can like, yeah, third it up very nicely. I should have done this in the first place. It would have made everything a bit easier. Yes. This is what I wanted to do. Ah. Oh. So neat. So perfect. So there we go, if you guys are... Move that out a little bit. Now, is it because that corner's too close? Let's put that one just a little way in. So there is good, and now... See, that is not good, and I'm trying to work out why. Let's, let's leave that for now. Let's just see. I think is it too close to that corner there? Okay, so that's fine to there. But see what we can do is move. Just move it ever so slightly. It's really annoying that that is there. I want to move this. Oh, well. Yikes. Okay, let's guess about there. Is it okay? Why, see, why is this not letting me link this to here? It's got to be too close there. Let's go a little way in. What's going on? What's up with that, huh? having a bit of a nightmare here as you can tell I wish this could like grid map itself a little better okay that's slightly that's worked the way I want it to okay can you so that's evidently too far away still Okay, these are going to be slightly elongated, but it's fine. What What is obstructing this here? So I'm just bringing it way in. That's got to work. Why? Well, alright, alright, I'm tripping out now. What? Why is that not? Apparently, uh, so the bench is yeah, seemingly not accessible. I think it might be the grass, you know. Sorry, this is I'm just scatterbraining while I remember painting. I think it might be because there's long grass around them because they're on pathways, so people should be using them. It might be it might be the long grass that's preventing them. You know, I think it was. I think people choose not to walk on long grass, so they should now go ahead and use these. Let's just... Let's 
Let's see if that works any better now. But I don't know what's going on. It's long. Too long. To, but it's not too long because I've done that fence in one bit. This is what I'm not understanding. Right, habitat. Right, barriers here. Panel two. Oh, wait, let me drop the lengths down. So I did that in one, that's one panel there. Okay, you know, I'm gonna add a middle panel. I guess I kind of have to here, annoyingly. But then if I'm doing that, I may as well bring these properly to the corner then. There we go, that's about there. I don't know why it's done that like that. I have to mirror and do the same here now. Alright, you know, it's it's good enough. It's good enough for me. So now what we can do is I can change that to preemptively change it to glass. Change that preemptively to glass. There we go, we've got viewing platforms. Alright. Habitat is ready. Oh, you know something I forgot to do here to decorate? I'm literally scatterbraining to the max, I apologize. Didn't put any rocks in here. Let's go for biome. Grassland, tropical, continent, Africa. Okay, so these are my blueprint rocks. You know, let's let's not let's not segregate. Actually, let's get some nice. I mean, that being said, I do have some cool. We don't want a howling wolf in there. Oh, that's massive. I expected that to be smaller. Mind you, I could put that as like a shelter in my next enclosure. Um, oh, it's because the terrain isn't flat. You know, that that would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, let's get some... Let's just add like a little... You know, here we could do a little... Little... Little rock feature. I need to make sure I'm using like different rocks to make this look a bit more natural. Should I have a standing rock? <laughs> they can climb that and get out. Okay, I'm using, you know, maybe I shouldn't have this align it to surface. Right, let's align it to surface so it's flat and then take off the line to surface. You know, actually, no, that's a line surface. Let's make a little. I don't want this to obstruct your sight of them. Well, I'm not entirely sure what I've created, but it's just, it's just a little bit of decoration, you know? A slight bit of decoration. The path isn't too wide at the back. You're right, you're right. Let me get rid of these thick boy trees, just for a sec here, and let me, let me sort out this path. I am scattering from one thing to the next here, but hey ho, we're chilling. Okay, I like how like you know neat everything's looking. Again, people still aren't using the benches, which is weird to me. So. Path. Natural path. With curb markers. We, maybe we don't... Maybe we... Let's see. Curb on ground path. There we... Uh, is, that, is that any better? Do I need to take the curbs off or something? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to help at all. I don't know why people aren't using those benches. 
Uh, maybe lights for some parts of the enclosure. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's also... I need to make sure this chick's researching some useful stuff. She's researching Aardvark level 7, but that's probably not quite useful. I need to... I mean, I'm sure the Aardvarks are happy, but... Can you, like, research some, like, buildings or something, rather than... Oh, I guess that's vet research. Wait, what do I need? Who do I need in there? How do I research stuff that's non-vet stuff? That would probably be one of these other buildings that I don't have. A workshop would perhaps be what I need. You know, what, actually, let's get a security guard too. Look, we're making good money. We don't need to be slacking here. All right, let's hire a security guard. Yeet. And let's build some of these extra facilities we need. Staff facilities. All right, let's get a workshop. So, probably not what we need, isn't it? Yeah. I'm guessing, but I'm assuming this is what we need. Uh, there we go. Boom. View workshop. Yeah, workshop research. All right, what do we all? What do we want to get? Habitats, barriers, classic themes. All right, what can, what do we want to get? Shops, shelters, climbing, power. Um, what would be a smart thing to start with? You know what? Right now, I'm gonna start researching. I feel like I like the new world theme. Let's let's get him researching that. How many people can you have in each of these? You can get one of one, one of one. So, you, okay. All right. Paths have to lead up to the benches to make them accessible. I mean, I put like a path, just like a grass path there. You know what? Okay. If that could be the case, you know what I'll do? I'll put down like a little cobblestone area here. That looks equally as nice. Let's see if they can work out how to use those benches now. Or do I need to <laughs> get the India theme? <laughs> soon, soon, soon. Or do I need to replace the benches now? Let me see if just by replacing that bench it works. I, put, I think I put the benches down on the path afterwards. So maybe it's like a little bug where it doesn't recognize that. Yo, how much are these donation bins making? 1.9 grand. A grand cheese, these cheese. People come from far and wide to see Lutalo the Aardvark. That research is complete. Yeah, we know everything about Aardvarks. We've got advanced research. Should probably research some diseases, shouldn't I? What? You know, let's 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 start. Let's start researching that. Uh. Uh, I'm just gonna just see if people. Why are you not using my benches? I work so hard to give you guys benches. All right, that'll do. Okay, the next animals. It's time. We're here to make a new exhibit. Also, stuff room one out of four, zero out of four. That's fine. Okay. Oh, people sit on benches. They're tired. Parking long. Apparently, Yardvark had a baby. That's a baby Aardvark! Legendary. I wonder if that like messes up. Like, are they happy? Adult population is two. But are they gonna get pissed off when that one grows up? I might have to sell it. But then again, like, as long as I keep an eye on it, I think it's fine. I, I guess like more animals is more people having interest. Okay, park isn't big enough. All right. You know, actually we got money in the bank. Maybe it's time we get a quarantine and a vet surgery just because things are probably going to go bad. Let's get quarantine. There we go, we've got a quarantine. And what was the other thing we need? A surgery. Oh, now that's a bit of a problem. Is that going to negatively... Actually, no, that should be just... That's, I think, oh wait, actually, let's get the heat map up. Let's see, negative impact on gas. Ooh, slight yikes. 
this area is not quite big enough. You know what I might do? I might rotate that. Uh... Yikers. I might just have to accept a slight, slight negative guest impact. In fact, you know, I'll move that path one further away. It's not, it's not hard to do. I don't know why I'm, why I'm umming and ahhing it. We need to have these, so let's just, let's just not, let's not worry about it. Just give them a bit more room there. No real stress. This is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, wait. Have curb on ground path. I'm a big fan of the curbs. I just think they look very neat and nice. Cool. Okay, so that's good. Now we just need to get the path linked up. Staff path. Okay. Oh boy. There we go. Perfect Amanda. For now. You know what I may as well do actually. I may as well link this the whole way. Through, along to grid. There we go. Look at the slight curve. Unbelievable staff. Okay, yeah, so we got the staff area looking good. Okay. Is there anyone using a bench yet? No. Things you hate to see, huh? I, you know, I need, to, I need to fix this. I'm sorry, guys. Path. Greystone. Make sure I got the curbs the whole way around there. There we go. Wait, no. Why has that now disappeared? <laughs> We're getting there. There we go. That's all neat. That's all neat. Okay. It is finally almost time for our next animals. Wow, I got that way off. I thought that was in the middle. Let's not talk about that. Okay. There needs to be food for people to sit on the benches. We got food. People buying it. Or are they? Okay, revenue. I guess they're quite new. I guess, yeah. Okay. All right, let's focus. We're getting new animals. That's what we're here to do. Open habitat trading. Here we go. Animal market. What is on the menu? Hippos have high stats. Mandrills do, but I feel like they're going to climb out. They're going to be a nightmare. I feel like I want to get wolves. I know their rating is not the best. We're toggling, yeah, by rating. Oh, wait, I'm just actually toggling. We're not actually toggled by rating. Turtles, tortoise is pretty sick, but... Oh, oh, Cappy is sick, but their rating's not so good. Like, I want to toggle by highest rating. Because we got it, we got early on, the crocodiles, they're pretty sick. But I need a lot of water for them, and I would need, um... Water treatment. Timber wolf. Yeah. That guy looks sick. He's, he's good value as well. Problem is, if there's not another timber wolf, then we're not looking too good. Let's see. Zoopedia. What social group do you live in? So they need 1,100 meters. Oh, it would be a bit too hot for them here. They can only go up to 29, and we're actually. Ah, oh, I can't really. Timber wolves are not going to have a great time. Also, 1,100 meters? What, what size? I can check this for scale. Um, okay, this is an 800, 800 meter square environment. 
Tigers. Tigers would be lit. Okay. Animal trading. Animal market. So Timberwolf, not such a great shout. These guys can climb, can't they? I'm pretty sure. Can they climb? Yeah, grade four, climb proof. They'd be good with the temperature. They'd actually need a bigger container anyway. I mean, they're bears. All right, let's not get carried away here. Not get carried away. What What is a likely animal we could have here? Crocodiles, I'm just not a huge fan. Coolers. You can put coolers down. Okay. But there was only one. There's only one timber wolf. Oh, wait. I think that's actually a second one. Emma the timber wolf. Timberwolf is, uh, is is tempting me here. Zebras. Plain zebras would be cool. Okapi are cool. These antelopes are cool. But again, not, none of these quite have a rating as good as the... Uh, as good as the... Let's get that like... Why, why do the cool animals not have higher ratings? I don't get it. Like, like, why is it that everyone loves hippos? I think I need more land. I need, yeah. Grizzly bears? Can grizzly bears climb? I'm pretty sure they can. Grade 4 climb proof. Yeah, we, 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 and then again, outside their temperature. We do have a big enough thing. Sorted by species. What, what do you guys think I should get? Put some trees around the staff area because it's kind of ugly. Thing is actually the gas is outside the range that the gas can see, but I do need to decorate it at some point. I mean, hyenas are jumping out at me. It's just something with good stats. We don't have enough room for timber wolves, do we? Let me just see. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have the land requirement yet. Stay basic. Let's stay basic. Oh, there we go. I should also check up on here. I'm multitasking. Oh, wait. He hasn't even researched that yet. Sort by species? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. See, I like bongos. Let's see, could I get bongos? I think they're cool. They're a cool animal. Let's see, come on, please tell me I've got enough room for you. Oh, they don't need any space at all. Now, theoretically, could I put the bongos in with something else? Or would that be a problem? Okay, so they need one male and then up to five females. But that's good because if I have a bunch of them, they're going to, like, attract um, loads of people. And so, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the bongos. What do you reckon, guys? Chat, before I go ahead and buy these guys, what do you reckon to bongos? I think, I think bongos are pretty sick. They've got a decent enough rating as well. Where are the bongos? Got 1,150. Damn it, they've gone off the market. Someone heard me. All right, there we go, bongos. So, let's get... Okay, let's get this bongo. We can get three, actually, here. Adopt one bongo. Adopt two bongos. Oh, wait, that's actually a high... You know, three bongos, screw it. All the bongos. And then the one male bongo. They're cheap. All right, we got four bongos. Cool. <laughs> bongo, bongo. Put bongos in with the aardvarks. Let's see. Let's, should we see if we can make it work? Because, I mean, this is a big, big habitat. Should we see? Let's just see. I don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, they're not going to fight each other, right? Let's grab one of my bongos. And let's chuck them in here and just see and just see if we can get them to a point where we can have the bongos happy and the aardvarks living together. 
I think I reckon they can get on. Oh, they've they've got their blooming ball stuck in the stuck in the thing. Alright, let's see. I could even split the habitat in half, yeah. But I like the idea of them just being just being bros. So let's see. Alright. Someone bringing the bongo over. There we go. Hello, bongo. I bought old animals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Hopefully it's fine. Okay, so how, how are you looking? Okay. So if we were to get more hard... Oh, no, no, no. I think this is going to be... Realistically, I should divide this by two. Because they need... They need 450 and they've got a 775 here. How do these guys have more? But I guess oh navi navi navigatable area is good. But yeah, I mean 450 and these guys need 450 too. Nah, you know, let's keep it spacious, right? Let's move this guy. Yeah, yeah, let's spread him out. Let's 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 let's, let's not worry about being like a stickler for having a for having. Okay, let's move you back to the Animal Trade Center. Oh. No! My game crashed. Hopefully I didn't lose much progress there. But yeah, we should probably spread them out. It's fine. Okay, let me relaunch the game. Solar panels don't cause negative reactions from guests. Okay. I mean, we, we have everything like in our main power area right now. But yeah, I'm going to put them separately. It was just a concept to have them together. You know, the aardvarks, they're making me a hell of money, you know. They deserve extra space. Theoretically, I should be deciding what animal I'm going to get and building like a... Uh, building an enclosure to scale. I will need another keeper as well. Hopefully it's saved when I got the bongos. Hopefully. love how the green makes me like somewhat see-through because my green's green. Alright, when did we last, when did it last save? Let's see if I still got my bongos. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, cool. It, it saved me. Alright, let's, let's move all these guys. Oh, wait, we need a gate. That would be why we can't move them. Barriers. There we go, let's get. Wooden habitat gate. Ah, ha. I kind of want to make sure it's near-ish to where we need it to be. To be here. Aha. There we go, right in the middle. Nailed it. Okay. Make sure I'm just ticking these all off as we go. I guess just keep researching diseases, right? These all look horrible. Classic swine. Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just keep working through them. I don't know which ones are good ones to have or not. Uh, what was I doing? I was moving these guys. Animal storage. Move you to there. Move you to there. Let's move you. And let's move you to there. All right. Um, should I have like a keeper for every enclosure? I guess, I mean, I've blown a bit of the budget, but it's probably a good idea to have a keeper for each one, right? Probably. So what I'm gonna do is, should also get my donation buckets and boards down as well so I can make money while we do this. Let's go into facilities. I need to put normal bins down as well. But donation boxes come first. Can never have too many of those. Right, I should get normal bins in as well. Especially around these, these areas here. Let's 
just do recycling here. I mean, this is where the main rubbish is going to be, right? Surely. I'm assuming people can still use these. Let's see, has anyone put anything in that donation bucket? Not that one. Nor that one. I hope they're usable, though. Okay, so we got our bongos. We need to make these guys happy first before we do anything else. So let's take a pause before these guys get hella stressed. Okay. Alright, this is going to be tough to turn this straight into something that they want. So, okay, let's start off on... So they want... So they got way more area than they need. They need more soil. They need less long grass. Okay, these guys can put up with a lot of soil. So let's go on. Wait. Um, terrain, here we go. Don't know how I want to do this again. Let's give them like a watering area, like a little lake area here. Let's go a bit bigger with that so it's a little more. I like the idea of giving these guys like an L-shaped little watering area. Right, water. That's a nice looking lake. I dig that. Okay, so now on the terrain front. One keeper to two habitats works best for me. I think I'm probably going to overdo it just to make sure they're all good in the herd. Let's get rid of some of this long grass. Oh, that's too much short grass now. They, re they really like soil, don't they? Give them a nice soily area here. Don't want more soil than that. And we'll create like a soil, soil, like soil ridden little habitat area here. I guess it's more like savannery, like dry ground that they're they're into over there. So I can do with a bit of rock actually. You know what? I'm actually going to put rock, rock under here. That looks quite sick actually. A little rocky pool area. So we just need to get rid of... Oh, let's get some sand. Yeah, let's get a little bit of this. Let's create like... A little beach for him. Still too much long grass. Where is the long grass? It's at the edges here. Still too much grass. Where is the long grass? I can't see it. There we go. Their terrain is all good in the herd. Their space is all good. Yeah, I mean, it's very flat, but I mean, that's kind of what I'd expect. So now they need hard shelter. So this is where I'm going to utilize a cool blueprint. We've got... Savannah rock shelters. This is apparently small, but doesn't look it. Yeah, that looks sick if I place that in on that corner. And hopefully that's enough hard shelter for all of them. And it just makes my life way easier. What do they like in terms of coverage? They want more coverage, which is easily done. Um, so, see what type are they. Go back to the Zoopedia. Before we get terrain going on. So they... Are Africa tropical. Okay, hopefully we can get some cool stuff in here. Nature. We're toggling it to tropical in Africa. So we've got a lot to play with here. Got this whole... Poof, that's a massive blueprint. Okay, we won't be giving one, them one of those. Have we got anything else cool that's like pre-built? I mean, a lot of this stuff is designed for kind of outside outside life. Sadly, we're looking at kind of very... Oh, we could get some banana palms. Yes, you know we're putting some of these around the water area. Okay, I should probably have these all upright, so let's not have them snap. Oh, no. Right, 
I have a straight and down a line surface. Is that not how are these how are these different to each other? Oh yeah, let's have like some little ones in there. See, I don't like how like copy and paste these look. I need to to rotate it. <laughs> Sometimes that's all it takes just to make it look less copy paste. Just having them the same rotation can be like, just make them look really copy and paste. Let's go back onto nature. These are tiny, tiny little ferns. That one in the middle just adds a little bit to that little area. Some mangrove, a mangrove tree. That looks quite cool. Maybe I have to align this to surface. Could have that like growing out of the corner. Gives it a nice like jungly feel. No, that's 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 too high out of the ground. That doesn't look right. Um, let's forget that one for now. These are all pretty similar. It's gonna be hard to make those look good. You know what? I like the idea of having a massive palm tree by the water. Maybe, yeah, slightly smaller. One big boy tree that's not aligned to surface. Just in the corner there, like almost on the edge of the greenery. So almost like a centerpiece for this exhibit. I like all of these trees actually. But I feel like using too many different trees gets kind of silly, is the problem. I love all of, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's just a, a burst of color. I just can't, can't imagine not having really. And that looks really nice over here. Let's get another one on the other side. What is this? This is a, I feel like if you separate it from side to side, to side that's too big. That's even bigger still. Maybe just one of those is quite nice. It's just by their little house area. I think maybe some like rock decorations are gonna be what we need. Is there a way that I can easily, you know what? I can actually easily rotate these. So those guys are like growing out over the water and like making the most of it. I need like some little, some little like bush shrub type things, but there's not a lot in this, in this biome selection. I may have to expand my search a little more. Let's take off Tropica and let's see what we can add. I'm sure they'll be fine with this stuff. Looking for smaller stuff like this. But we can actually align to surface and just have just 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 little little details like that. Little details. Place it down lower. I mean, yeah, I could do that, but nah. I like that. Just literally dipping some of this into this space. Okay, now let's, let's think about something else. Ivy spread, no. Is that place in nice? Yeah, it's just... We're getting there, we're getting there. It's hard to make this uh, exactly how I want it to be. I love thorn acacia trees, but no, no, no. Some aloe vera. Wouldn't be too bad an idea. We need some stuff down this bank here. Oh, a row. It's 
I'm working with right angles here and it's it's not the greatest. Um Aha. Subject must be moved before it can be placed. Well, no, it's placed there. That's where I wanted that. That just... We're getting there. Shouldn't overthink the habitat. And if you do too much detail near the water, it won't look as good. Yeah, I need to spread things out a little more. I need some stuff here. Let's see what we can do with rocks. See what we can do with rocks. See, I haven't unlocked a lot of different rocks yet. I need to get some more like pre-built rock layouts. The Savannah Rock Shower is so good. I need to fill this space with something. All right, you know what? I'm gonna move this. If I move that there, I'm gonna have another one of it. Duplicate it again. I'm gonna move this. I just want to create. Raise the water more is pretty low. I'll see if I can do that. What is the button to, like, rotate on the spot? You should probably look that up and set. Um, settings, controls, object placement controls. Um, what the heck? Why did it click off that? Rotate. Oh, I can hold Z and rotate. Okay. Move. Aha, that's, this is a tool that I've needed to use. And duplicate. You know what? Is it going to let me up the terrain here just a little bit? Just to create like almost like a... That's quite funky, if you ask me. Don't know if I need to replace those or move those up. No, that you know that adds that makes it a little yeah a little cooler. You know actually it's the flat terrain that's also maybe give them like a little little downwards route. I think I need to cover this grass back up, but this gives it a bit more character, doesn't it? Let's see. They're probably not happy anymore. I'm going to hit play just so we can get an idea of how they're feeling about the place. Terrain, yeah, they've got too much long grass. Can get some short grass in there. Let's get a bit more sand through there. Oh wait, we need to bring that down as well. Why is that not being pushed down? Right, let's smooth this out. Push that down. So it all links up nicely. Smooth. Ah, it will do. Get rid of all this long grass that might be here. They actually look quite nice having the long grass up there. Alright, where is there more long grass? Explain to me. Well, all this long grass you all are hating on is. Because I can't see it. Must be around here somewhere. Okay, there we go. There, they're happy again. 
Okay, they still don't feel like there's enough hard shell to it. Which is a bit weird. I could give them a little house as well, to be fair, actually. Habitat. Beds and shelters. That looks really nice. Should I put that in? But is that too big to put in the middle? I mean, also, it's hard to get it flattened right, and it's going to mess up my terrain. Let's maybe keep it a little more simple. I feel like they would dig some one of these, one of these little ones. Is this going to be like the Vic special? Just every habitat has one of these in it. They need all the other animal stuff as well. You know, actually, I like the idea of them having like a little, like a little hideaway back here. I like the idea of that. Just, it's a bit more shelter for him. Let's maybe pull it down a little bit. Let's move the whole thing. I should be able to get in and out of there then. Let's give them a large bedding area under there. There we go. Hopefully we're a bit happy with that. Got that little little area. Okay, the other things we need to add for them, like habitat stuff, so they need food and water. I think I'll put a water pipe just near where they, they wake up. I guess that's too close to the glass. Oh, it's too close to the entrance. Let's have it just there. Just in sight. Let's give them a large food bowl there so they've got their eating and drinking area. I don't really know what's the kind of difference between all of these, but okay. Okay, then enrichment items for these guys. Oh, a rubbing pad. Let's, let's give them one of these over here. Go past the water. Give them a ball to knock about. Sprinkler will cool them down if they need. I'm just going to drop that in the middle. So you can use that to also cool down animals. I don't think they... Yeah, I'll just put it in the middle. I still need to do lighting in there. Little areas, you guys are right about that. Okay, let's see. See how happy they are now. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do... Always scares me when that happens. I'm like, please don't crash in. <gasps> not save my stuff. Stuff, you know what? She's charging 1.1 1. 1. 1 grand a month, I guess. Let's check our finance. So we're making 7 grand a month. Yeah, I'm going to get another keeper. I think one keeper per uh, one keeper per habitat is good. I like that. I like that enclosure. I, I think this helps a lot as well. It adds like a lot of detail. Are you happy? Your enrichment is not is not looking good. I mean, what what enrichment do you guys want? I I don't know what what things you like. Herb scent marker enrichment sprinkler. I don't know what things you want, to be honest. We need something in that corner, I've, I've decided. I don't know what I can... Oh, well, there you go. It's got... A, okay, a bit of... Okay, you need some food enrichment as well. A slow feeder? I don't know. Forage box enrichment. That thing is massive, whatever it is. I guess, oh, they like put plants in there and they have to like dig it out. You know, I feel like people will find it mad interesting if they're like trying to. But do they eat termites? I don't know. Stick one of those over there, see what happens. 
You know, I feel like bongos would eat termites. We'll see there. We'll see how true that is. Surely you guys play with play with like play with bouncy balls. I just keep an eye on their happiness here. Too many trees. Oh. Why do they not feel like they've got No, there's a good amount of coverage. Why is there not enough hard shelter, huh? On enrichment you can filter to each animal and see what they like. I see. Ah oh, yeah, I'm just kinda guessing. Okay, wait. Habitats. Oh, I see, I see. All enrichment and filter to species. This would be a clever thing to do. You guys... Okay, so like the herb center. Climbable African team shower. Okay. I'm going to get that. Because they like that. Okay, so they don't, they're not interested in... Okay, this is my bad. They're not interested in the bouncy balls. Or the rubbing pad. All the termite mines, so I can get rid of that stuff. The sprinkler probably doesn't do it, so their enrichment should be the same right now. So they've got toy enrichment from the herb marker. Let's put them another one over here. I think there's a hard shelter glitch. Okay. What am I supposed to do about that? I don't know. They've got toy enrichment, now they need food enrichment. Habitat, enrichment, food enrichment. For bongos, we don't have anything yet. Ah. That's a problem, what do I do? I guess I can't do anything. Because it's, for them, it's not. Wait, let's see, can I research anything? Oh yeah, research some stuff for the bongos, Claire. Go, go Claire, go. Oh, okay, alright. Um, let's call the keeper over for now. Um, I'm going to get a new keeper and put him on there. I don't know, no, I, we need to save money. We're going to save that money. One keeper can do both, it's fine. So, star, we are going to um, create a work zone. Aardvark, we are going to add to it. So, there we go. No. Aardvark is all of the above. So now she has... Where is, where is she? Wait. Focus. Staff. You have Aardvark. Wait, work zone. Aardvark. We need to rename that. Plus bongo. That is not how we spell bongo. There you go. Aardvark plus bongo. Cool. Two habitats, two buildings, two staff rooms. And yeah, she has Aardvark plus bongo under control. Good stuff. Get more researchers. Again, we don't want to blow the budget. We only got 20 grand and like other animals are going to be expensive. Hey, people are using the benches. That's good. Is there much litter around? Not really. Okay, another thing I need to do right now is get some education balls. People are loving... I think, they're, I, think they're, I think they're enjoying the bongos. Look at that. Money coming in. Okay, let's do... Facilities. And for... Wait, is it? Or is it in construction? It's not in construction. Here we go. Habitat education ball. Put one there. You know, we're also going to put one on there. We're going to spin around and we're going to do the same over here. I feel like you can't have too many of these. Keep that on the aardvark. This one, we will put about the bongo. And then straight away, you can donate some. Some moolah straight after. How are you guys doing? Apart from needing food enrichment, you're pretty happy. And... What do I do about the hard shelter? I, don't... I mean, habitat they're pretty happy with. Should I just leave it? 
thought Bongo was a text and couldn't respond to the YouTubers. Oh, my man. Wait, did I not set her to... Ah, oh, good call. I didn't get her on the bongos. There we go. That's good call. I make mistakes. I'm a human. Let me grab that. Let me duplicate and mirror that around. Duplicate. Got some more lighting in. There we go. Got nice levels of lighting. Oh wait, this. Let's rotate that out. Let's see. There you go, that works for me. Right, I see what our guests are saying. Super ticket price is great. I need the loo. The zoo feels pretty small. View of the bongos quite well. You can tell they put a medium amount of thought into the planning. Rude! Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll take a minute. That's right. See a happy, healthy bongo. Could have given the bongo some shelter. I mean, I tried. They're all saying zoo ticket price is great, and you know what that means. You know what that means. That means we need to put up the ticket price. Donde está el ticket price? Finances. How do I put it up? Oh, new world theme is done. It's annoying that you have to select that. I, uh, you know what? I'm going to put you on the Africa theme just so I can get the climbing thing because I want that. Um, oh, there we go. Let's put it up just a little bit so as not to, not to shock everyone. Everyone pays the same. Okay. Total guest happiness is good. Uh, we're, on the, we're on the up and up, you know. We've got good opening hours. Aardvarks are getting mad respect. Uh, I don't know what to do about this hard shelter for these guys. Are they still, they're still mad about it. It's a glitch, but... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the Vic Classic. And we're going to... I'm going to duplicate the roof of this. And we're going to uh, put one there. You know, that doesn't actually look half, half bad. And let's see if that somehow solves the issue. Maybe it's something to do with the fact that I placed down a blueprint. Roof for shelter is too low, that could be it. We'll see if like that does anything. I mean that shelter over that shelter over their their sleeping spot. Right, what have we got? Visiting player. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my zoo. Roof for bongo shelter is too low, okay. Alright, let's edit this whole building then. Delete that. Let's make it higher. Higher, higher. Let's pull this up. I got an idea here. And move this. Roof go up. Only up, never down. Perfect. Then what we're going to do. We're on to some funkiness here. Watch this not go right, but here we'll try it. You know what, let's get the height right, and then we'll do the rest after. Let's get that. Now, advanced move. Look at me go, learning things. Ha ha. There we go. Move this down. I mean, it looks extra funky regardless of whether that's 
Gonna solve the problem. Come on, that's gotta be that's gotta be high enough for them. That looks quite cool as well. It's like a nice little like shaded area. Two percent. Still too low. Uh, maybe we need to lose the railings. I thought I was being cool by adding the railings. We can we can get rid of them pretty easily. Okay, let's see if that's any better. Okay, you can see where I've misaligned this ever so slightly now. To be fair, actually, they are pretty tall boys. So, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. That's an improvement. They need some tall boy shelter. That much is for sure. Should I move it higher up, do we think? All right. Here we go. Watch and learn. A genius at work. Okay, let's get this aligned nicely. The tools on this game are actually pretty sick when you take a moment to appreciate them. Down a tiny bit to mesh them. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Hard shout is annoying, but I guess you got to have annoying things to have good things. How we looking now? Hard shout of 25%. You know what? Okay. Let us. I guess it's because it's not over there, like, resting at habitat area. Okay. Bear with. Got this so it's aligned correctly. It's a little messy looking, but let's go with that. Duplicate that to the side. I'm kind of guessing at what I need to do here, but. See if that's any better. How are you guys doing now? Oh, how much shelter do you guys need? Do I give them another one of those on the other side? I might just give them one over there. Let's move that. I mean, evidently this is just for show. It's not helping anyone with anything. Okay. I should have made this all one thing. I can't copy and paste all of it, can I? Uh, no. I should have made it all as one building because now it's three separate buildings. Oh, balls. Is there any, how, is there any way I can like, multi-select this whole thing? Sad boy now. Wait, hold up. Here we go. No. I thought I was being smart, but I'm not. I really like the way that looks. It looks kind of like makeshift.
Ag. Bottom right to multi select. Wait, how? Oh, here. Oh, okay. This is a tool that is new to me. Wait, can we? Aha. Sick. Good call. Okay. Okay, there we go. My senior into group. Duplicate. Yes. Aha. Success. Huge success. Potentially. Please. Shelter. 92%. We're nearly there. Know what we're going to do? We're going to advance move. We're going to make these a little wider. Make this a little wider. How are we looking? 92% still. Why? Try the same again here. That's what this game is all about. I moved out an extra. Let's move out an extra two units. That's what this game is all about. Running into problems. It's about how you deal with them. There we go. Please tell me we're just all good in the hood. You know, actually, no, no, that won't work. Because I think it's actually, even though they're overlapping, it's counting. So, theoretically, if I just put another piece on the top middle, it would actually work. So, it's a little scuffed. But actually, what I could do is just duplicate that, put it on the top middle, and that'll actually count. Which is kind of silly. But I'm pretty sure that'll actually count. So... If I wanted shelter, I could have just put like a five thick roof on the middle. And I think, let's see, let's test that theory. Okay. No, maybe, maybe that, maybe that doesn't. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I'm also going to advance move. I'll hold them down a tiny bit. Just so I feel like it's easier for them to get in. Alright, what's your coverage now? gone up. How oh, is it? Because this is like slightly unconnected. You know what? 90 whatever percent is good enough. It's good enough for me. Fighting due to overcrowding the Aardvark. Oh, yikes. Because the Aardvark grew up and now they're fighting each other. Aardvark 3. Aardvark 3, you're getting sold, mate. You were never meant to be. You know, actually, I could sell one of... But no, the older ones, so the young adult, you, my friend, are getting sold, I think. Let's release them to the wild, actually, because I can get conservation points, which are good. We want those. Okay, go away. Let's do it. There we go. He's, he's moved on to, to finer pastures. Damage barriers. Call the mechanic. Okay. Alright. Six items for the bongo. Continuing work. I mean, an escape aardvark is not really going to cause too much of a problem, is it? What's wrong with this aardvark? Uh -oh. uh. Okay, we're about to have even more bongos in the house. Cool. Uh, some bongo research done. Mechanic being requested right now. 100 isn't needed, over 75 is fine. Okay, good. Good to know. Alright, cool. So I'm, this, these guys are happy now. Look at that. Happy campers. Actually, let's just get them the last bit of enrichment that they need. I should be able to get that. Enrichment for... Bongos, like a grazing ball. I mean, that's going to be like food enrichment. It's not... Oh, there we go. 
No, wait, they need food enrichment, don't they, actually? Yeah, food enrichment. Wait, let me check for species. Focus, species, bongo. What do you guys like? Okay, yeah, you want the small barrel feeder or the grazing ball feeder. The grazing ball feeder looks cool. So we're going to drop one down there. And with a bit of luck, oh, there's a baby bongo. Hello. Bongos are so cute. Look at him! Ah! He's, he's having a snooze. Bongo lifestyle on point. Okay, enrichment. They still want some more food enrichment, so let's give them both. Why not give them both? Give them a barrel feeder there, too. Because there's a lot of these guys, so I guess they need like a bunch of toys to keep them all happy. Food enrichment. You want even more food enrichment, okay? We can do that. Or do they not need 100%? I mean, I guess 100% is better, right? Let's do it. Let's do it anyway. It's, it costs me a very little amount. Let's put another barrel feeder over there. Cool. So there we go. Happy campers. Socially, are they happy? They're enriched. Living good. Has, has this not been repaired yet? What's the alert with this guy? I don't know what the... Oh, I think the alert has gone. Alright, yeah, oh yeah. He's fixed that now. Good stuff, all round. Can, do you think they can get their ball out of the wall, or do you think it's just stuck there for life? Are these guys still happy? Nutrition, there's moderate nutrition issues. Where's your, where's your buddy? Well, let's get you some food in there. There's, there's food here. Let's tell the keeper to give him some more food. You know what, we may need another staff room soon. Mind you, no, it's empty. Slackers. Alright. I would say that's a pretty darn successful episode. We got the bongos moved in happily. We got the aardvarks happily. We got some nice decoration in here. So now we're up to 100% on these. Obviously these. I guess, does that increase the efficiency of my star? So let's see. Are they more efficient in this information booth? I don't know. Decorating this should probably be a task for me right now. I've really cheaped out by not making this all look nice. I don't know. That's a sick building for a toilet and a kiosk. I feel like I made a mistake because I feel like housing all of these buildings now is going to be a nightmare. A definite nightmare. Just being nosy looking at all the things you can get right now. 30 grand for like a full staff room decoration thing, but these wouldn't fit. Like, I need to build something myself, custom, to fit all of this in. I want to see how my donation buckets are doing. No one uses these ones. What about you? So you got a decent bit. This one's going to have loads. No? 380. 120. Can anyone even use those? I don't even know. I guess it's early in the day right now. I love these. These are very nice. 37 things make up those. I should make sure my researchers are good. He's doing the Africa theme. He's getting there. Use wooden wall constructions to put a big room around all of them. Could be a shout. What? Not this wall. So the construction. Is there any like pre-built bits that I could use to really wrap this thing up without me having to 
do it all myself. To be fair, that could actually be quite cool if I decorate like it's actually like an enclosure, like a compound thing. I get what you're saying. Have like some wavy walls around the whole thing. I'm picking up what you're putting down. But it's something that I do not have. Don't think I have the mental fortitude to go around right now. I wonder if I could grid it from. See. It will let me put it like in some of these spots. What I could do is I could just get a wooden wall and just. You know, for now. It's a very, very temporary fix, but. It does what it needs to do. Honestly. It's not exactly pretty. Oh wait, no, I want those on the outside. Four more. I'm glad I did everything in four meters. Okay, it ain't particularly pretty, but it does the job. What I could even do, actually, that's floor. How am I going to get it on the grid above? Okay. I'm trying to work this out. So roof piece, it should just instantly go on top. Because actually, yeah, if I just do a wooden box, that actually looks like a really nice little staff facility. At least start a staff facility. <sighs> okay. How do I select grid? I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I'm, I'm getting tired, so I'm getting stupid. It's how I usually tend to go. I guess I've been streaming for like four hours so far today. You'll have to forgive my brain deadness. You know, maybe if I just get one placed in. I think I want it to be flush lining up. I think now, if I get more of them, select grid from there. From this piece. Why won't you let me connect it to this dark? Vic the baby bongo is a male. When he grows up, he'll beef the other male. Yeah, I'll, I'll sell the other male. Don't worry. Right, where's the 3D movement? Like, what am I doing here? It has to be on a triangle. Oh, what? Like the end of a triangle or something? Alright, let me just... Get that. What does that mean? It has to be on a triangle. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Instruction. Grid height. Select grid. I don't know what just changed, but wait. Grid height four meters. Okay, why could I place that one up but not? I have grid height set to four meters. Aha.
Okay, certain things it likes, certain things it doesn't like. This is so weird to me. Alright. Guys. You know what? Leave this with me. I will create something funky looking for this uh, for this enclosure so it looks a little less ugly for next episode. That'll be my little off-camera project to make all of this look nice for when we get back. It's just going to be tedious and fiddly and annoying. That's why I tend to use blueprints for most things. But I can, I'll, I'll sit back and take my time and not stress about getting it done on stream. Um, but yeah, I would say things are all going quite fantastically in the park for episode two. So we've got two successful enclosures, loads of guests going around, facilities looking good, custom decorated walls and stuff. Um, happy bongos, living their lives. I am, I'm super chuffed. I'm super happy how everything's going on. Is that social, social group too good? How do I even check that? I don't even know. Social. They're all right. They're chilling. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, sorry for energy levels dropping off to the end there. I just got really tired for some reason. I mean, I guess it's, it's 11 p.m. and I'm still kind of jet lagged from LA. I'll decorate this with maybe some trees and stuff around as well. It'll be real nice for next episode, which should be tomorrow. I don't really see any reason it couldn't be tomorrow. It might be a bit earlier tomorrow because it's the weekend. Now I'm streaming COD in the evening again, and then I'm going out, and then I'm getting back and streaming Minecraft. So potentially three streams. Oh my... What the balls just happened there? Please tell me I can just replace that. Well, that was easy. I don't know what the what the hell happened there. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Did they knock it down? Are these walls supposed to be stronger? Wait, did I? Did, I didn't actually check the. Uh, hold up. We were we were gonna end, but then these guys decided to get. Aggie. Oh, grade two. This is not grade two, is it? Barriers. Does it say what? Resistance grade three. Okay. No, so it should be fine. Wood's actually like, you know, quite a good, good point. All right. I don't know what happened there. Alrighty. As I said, this is going to be all for today. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these streams in the future. Leave me some feedback uh, in the comment section. Yo, that guy nearly got drive by by a bongo. Leave me some tips, tricks, and stuff down below. Things you'd like to see. I also need to add some more rocks to here. I'll maybe do that next episode or maybe before. Um, I should, you know what I should do? I should, again. I should probably give the mechanic work areas. I'm going to do that before, right? I assume people are going to comment saying this. Let's create a work zone for you. That is that. That he needs what he needs his he needs his workshop and the two staff rooms. Add that. I don't know if you actually need to do this. You guys can let me know if this is something we need to do or not. But while I'm here, I may as well do it. So this is called. Uh, uh, I'm being really neat here for no apparent reason. Okay, there we go. And I got on the staff. And yeah, to be fair, at some point, I'm going to want him having those, to be honest. So there you go. He's got Aardvark and Bongo fences. Because yeah, I want different mechanics assigned to different fences, hopefully. Or different enclosures. Alright, now it is truly it for the episode. Thank you once again for tuning in. I'm going to call the mechanic. I will see you all on my next stream. Make sure you subscribe to all my channels. Link down below. I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks and goodbye. Oh, also, thank you, Tristan Caskio with the $5 super chat. I said, I love you, Vic. Keep up the good work. We'd love to see a Sidemen X Misfits collab. Well, we've been wanting to do an Australia trip for the longest time, so hopefully. But who knows? Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. See you tomorrow.